Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very jam-packed video. I have a giveaway, which I'm really excited to be able to you know, give back to you guys. I know that I haven't been too active lately. I've been really busy with work and unfortunately, I don't know if you can tell from my voice, it's a little bit scratchy. So since I didn't have a voice, I wasn't able to film, but I've had this giveaway planned for a while now. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, as always, I'm going to be leaving timestamps in the description box below so that if you're not interested in the giveaway you can skip directly to the juicy part which i'm sure all of you are here for but one of my last videos which was featuring this bag right here this wallet on chain again looking at it you might not remember if you didn't watch this video or you might not know but this is actually a replica bag in my opinion as i stated in the video which again i'll link up here in case you wanted to watch in my opinion this replica is made so well it's scary in fact i personally think that it's made better than some of the bags that are actually you know being sold in stores so from my perspective i was like okay you know how far can this bag go so what i did was i actually tried to resell it on a major website which was fashion foul and Believe it or not, they accepted it. So I'm going to be diving into all of those details, how much they were going to give me for this bag, how it compared to other authentic bags that I've actually submitted. So this is really, really interesting information. So please stay tuned um, and please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe down below. All right, so now I'm going to get into a really quick unboxing and the giveaway announcement. So again, if this isn't your type of vibe, feel free to skip. I will leave the timestamps down below if you didn't want to skip. Really quickly, another really exciting announcement is I am actually headed to Spain in a few weeks. Um, if you haven't followed my Instagram, which again, I will post right here. Hello Lux, please give it a follow. So I will definitely be doing a sort of mini haul. I don't plan on having any major purchases, but I will be visiting all the major retailers. So another popular video of mine is a VAT refund. If you have any questions that you would like me to answer, feel free to leave them down below and I can you know keep an eye out and hopefully answer those questions when I do get back. Cool. So if you remember a few videos ago, I did a best alternative to expensive luxury bags video in which I featured Sinbono. And I actually have another Sinbono unboxing today who I'm actually partnering with for this giveaway. So let me go ahead and unbox this. So you may have noticed that the boxes have changed and I'm actually really excited for this bag because I do plan on bringing it to Spain with me. And I love the new packaging. I love green. Green is one of my favorite colors, love the box how it does come with a dust bag, and you guys might be seeing it already, but it is one of their classic bags, which is the Vienna, but one of their new takes on it, which is this, you know, woven braided type of texture. So again, all of this is 100% cruelty free. It's vegan, made out of, you know, recycled fruit leathers and things like that. So as you can see, the texture is honestly so great. The leather is super soft, or I guess, you know, leather since it's not real. Um, I've always wanted a mini Jody, but never really saw myself, you know, pulling the plug on that. This bag with my coupon code, which I will put right here, which is just hello, will actually get you 26% off, which brings this bag under $100. And let me just show you some details. So again, there's a magnetic clasp closure and you can sort of unzip it like this. It's stuffed right now. Um, I restuffed it after I got it, but then at the very bottom of this, it does come with a really heavy chain, as you can see. Um, and as you can see right here, let me see if I can show you guys. This is actually branded from Simbono, so it's not some random chain. It's really hefty and it doesn't have that really like weird metallic -y smell. Um, I've also been getting a lot of comments lately about, you know, where do you get your chains? Um, so I will link them down below again if you're interested, but I think another great option if you do like this type of chain, you know, some chains sell out there for, you know, $50, $40, you might as well get this bag for like $80, comes with a bag and a chain. Um, so yeah, this bag I think is adorable and I plan on taking it to Spain with me because it's, I think, low maintenance, it's not super flashy, and I think it's really stylish. Moving on to the giveaway details, so there's going to be about one week to enter this giveaway. Again, I will leave all the formal descriptions, formalities in the description box down below, but I will be running this until October 20th and I'll be releasing the winner sometime around, you know, noon Pacific Standard Time. Um, so keep an eye out for that in terms of how you can enter. You can either enter on Instagram or you can enter here on YouTube, or I will say you have to enter here on YouTube. Instagram will just give you a bonus entry. So in terms of how you would enter, and again, all the details will be down below. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment with your Instagram handle and put it in a way where you have like 
the at sign and then a space and then your handle. I think lately YouTube has been blocking some of the comments that are just a handle directly. So I'll leave an example of how you can enter down below. If you want bonus entries, you can go on over and head over to my Instagram. Um, you do need to follow my Instagram at hellolux underscore um, in order to be considered for this. If you don't have an Instagram, you can maybe just in your comments say, you know, I don't have an Instagram or else I will be checking in terms of how you can get bonus entries on Instagram. So again, follow me at Hello Lux, follow Sinbono underscore official. We will be checking to make sure that you are following both me and Sinbono. Like the post right here. And if you want extra comments, you can tag, you know, as many friends as you want. One tag is one more entry. So there's a couple of ways that you can win, but again, if you don't want to participate in the giveaway, you can buy on the website directly and receive 26% off with code HELLO. So again, after I announce the winner on October 20th, I'll just be giving your details to Zenbono and then they will be sending you a free bag. So yeah, I think this is really exciting and good luck to everybody that enters. And thank you again so much for, for supporting my channel. All right, guys, so now actually getting into the bulk of this video, which I'm sure you guys are most interested for a follow up on this bag right here. So again, this is a replica bag. They call it very high quality, meaning that it's supposed to be the highest, most expensive replica you can get. This one is about three to four hundred dollars. Um, so as you can see, it honestly looks amazing. And I won't be going into too much detail about the bag because you can just watch my video where I give all the details from this. But honestly, it looks great. Um, and you know, I honestly would never know. So my rationale was I was really curious if I submitted pictures of this bag to an online site, would they actually be able to tell that this is a replica? Because if you guys are shopping on secondhand sites like Fashion File or maybe Poshmark, a lot of times, especially for older bags or even newer bags, maybe if somebody is you know careless, they accidentally lose the authenticity card, they'll advertise, oh, I have a certificate of authentication. But in my perspective, you know, it's not Chanel directly that's authenticating these bags. It's usually a third party website. They can call themselves experts, but everything is done via pictures. And I always wanted to know, you know, how much are they actually able to tell from pictures? Because to be honest, I think this could easily get away. So that was the rationale for me actually submitting photos of this bag onto the website. I would never ever actually go through with the, you know, selling of it. My quote has already expired. I think that's really unethical and you would get in so much trouble if they did find out. So again, this was just out of pure curiosity. I am not actually intending to sell this bag to any, you know, website. I have had a few of you guys reach out saying you'd want to buy this from me instead of buying it directly, you know, from this website because you want to use PayPal or you've already seen mine and you like it. So I know I've talked to a few of you guys via Instagram. If you're still interested, send me, you know, a message over there tell me how much you'd maybe want to pay for it for um, if you're in the u.s how you'd want to go about actually buying this but again i would never sell this to an actual website in terms of websites that i try to sell it to it was really only fashion file the real real has a pretty lengthy process or they wanted me to go drop it off in store which i was not going to go out of my way um, in person to have somebody come to my house or go to a store to have them look at a bag that i personally knew was fake i just wasn't going to do that um, rebag was also a little bit tricky, but fashion file, it's really easy to do so. So I've submitted a few bags to fashion file for quotes before, and I'm actually going to go through that right now to give you my previous experience. And I'm going to get in, um, get into all the details about this bag in particular, what they offered me, etc. So let's dive into that. So starting, you know, in order from, I guess, first purchase to last purchase. So when I was in France, as you may remember, if you watched my VAT video, which I'll link up here, I got insane deals for the bags that I bought in France. And I was curious, again, not that I would resell it, but I was curious, you know, I got a discount discount in terms of a VAT refund, you know, Euro to USD. If I were actually to sell it to the American fashion file, would I make money? So one of the bags that I put on there was my Boosie, which is I think a crowd favorite. I love this bag. I use it all the time and it's been holding up great. Happy to do, you know, a follow-up video on this. You know, it's gotten a few dirt marks so far, but what I've done is I've just, you know, used this leather conditioner and it's been cleaned up fine. Again, I'll link this below. I think it's the absolute best one. This is apparently what Chanel recommends to, you know, their customers. So I really, really trust this one. Yeah, it's still in great shape. Happy to do a video, but I will attach the picture on screen right now. And as you can see, they offered me 
$1,650, which again, this pack is retailing for like $2,200 in the US. And I sent this to them brand new. I had the receipt, I had the box, everything. And that's how much they were offering, you know, for this bag. Um, so I never really understood why people, you know, sell to Fashion File or, you know, whatever, because they really aren't making a lot of money. Uh, moving on to the next one, which is this wallet that I bought directly from Chanel. And I had, again, all the receipts, all the tags, everything. It's a Chanel caviar card holder. And again, I will attach the unboxing video right here at the top if you wanted to watch it. This retails for $550. It was a super coveted colorway. This is the dark beige. It's not beige clear. Just guess how much they offered for this. $400. Can you guys believe this? And you know, they're selling these bags on here and these wallets for like hundreds and hundreds thousands above retail. So I, again, will never understood why people are buying popular items just to resell them when they're maybe at most breaking even. Like, I feel like from an ethical standpoint, I would just leave it at the store so that somebody who actually wanted it could get it. And now this is where it gets really interesting. This is my wallet on chain that I bought directly from the Paris flagship. So keep in mind, I had the Paris flagship box, all the original receipts and everything. It was in new condition, all the stickers intact because I hadn't used it yet. Um, super basic wallet on chain. As you can see, I have the little extender right there, which makes the biggest difference. Again, I'll link this down below for you guys. You guys will never guess what happened with this bag. So let me move these back and give you some more context. So to give you some context, this same bag used is on Fashion File for upwards of $4,000. Retail, it was about like 2,900 in USD when I got it. I got it in Europe for $2,500. Believe it or not, Fashion File refused to take this item. They were super vague about it. And again, I'll attach a picture right here. They said not accepted. Unfortunately, we will not be able to accept this item because our selection requirements were not met. What is that supposed to mean? I attached all my receipts, all the pictures, they were super vague about it. I don't know if, you know, this is just a hypothesis, but they're clearly on the site. They're selling them. You know, was it because they thought this item was not authentic, but they can't say like, hey, we don't think this item is authentic because they can get in trouble for that. So they just leave it vague and say, you know, our selection requirements were not met. Again, I really don't know what that means, but I thought that was fascinating. Now let's get into what happened when I submitted my, you know, replica wallet on chain for a quote. So again, let me move everything else out of the way so that you can only see the wallet on chain. So again, authentic wallet on chain, replica wallet on chain. This wallet on chain is retailing for about right under $4,000. Um, it was from the last collection and I submitted this to Fashion File. I really didn't think they would accept it because I mean, they pride themselves on being able to you know, look at authenticity. I mean, you can literally say I've never used this. So they pride themselves on authenticity. I'll put the snippet from their website below, but I was like, okay, there's no way they're gonna accept this. And believe it or not, in a few days, I get an email from them saying that they have accepted my Chanel lambskin quilted mini trendy CC chain wallet in black, and they offered me $2,200. So first they accepted it, which is mind blowing. Number two, for a new bag, retailing at $4,000, they gave me $2,200. So again, who knows what would have happened if I actually printed this and you know printed the shipping label and actually sent it to them. But the fact that they even off the bat, just looking at pictures, deem this to be authentic is really scary, guys. And I want to emphasize that. Be very careful when you're buying off a of fashion file, real, 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 real has had tons of scandals because they physically cannot process so many bags with how many employees they have. There's been tons of scandals with that. You know, all this is alleged information, but apparently, you know, a bunch of bags are slipping through the cracks. So please, just because you buy something online through some sort of authorized retailer does not mean it's authentic. Be extra careful if you're buying on sites like eBay or Poshmark, where just one individual look at what they've sold. When they say that they're giving you a certificate of authentication, double check that because that doesn't really mean much. Something else I've noticed is if they know it's not an authentic bag, they will tag the brand as something as other. So I'll try to find an example on Poshmark or Mercari if I can, but instead of having the brand as Chanel, they'll put it as something else because they can't claim it Chanel. So be careful for that. Something else that I've seen is somebody will say like 100% authentic. What does that even mean? I mean, can you have a bag that's 50% authentic? No, I don't think so. Um, so really be careful of that. Again, watch my very first video, very first video where I break in, you know, 
break it down, look into more things. But guys, please be careful if you're buying things online. And again, I just wanted to emphasize that everybody can do whatever they want to. If you want to be buying, you know, replica bags because that's what you like, you don't want to worry about spending thousands of dollars just to ruin something that is totally your personal preference. You know, I received a message on my Instagram the other day because I said, you know, reach out to me on Instagram if you want to know more details about this bag. I had this heartbreaking message that said, you know, I can't afford actual Chanel. So I saved up for a replica Chanel. It took me a long time to save that amount of money. And then I bought it on a website and got scammed. And my opinion is, guys, we don't need these items. These are great if you can afford them. I've talked about this before, but, you know, I save up really hard to buy these items. I personally like these luxury goods. I don't really spend my money elsewhere and I don't buy them by often. I save my money and I treat myself, you know, if I'm on a trip or I got promoted, have a bonus, etc. But please do not go in debt to buy a fake Chanel bag because at that point I feel like you're just giving into, you know, societal standards and like you feel like you need a luxury bag, but guys, you really don't. I've talked plenty about other bags. You know, I showed the Sanbono bag, which was $100. You know, the other bag that I've been using to death all the time is this literal Lululemon belt bag, which is like $40 and I think it's amazing. So guys, it would absolutely break my heart if I, you know, any of you guys just continue to get ripped off or scammed trying to buy, you know, a fake bag because you thought that you needed a real one. So that's where, where I'm going to end this video um, in terms of my opinions and my thoughts. But guys, please let me know what you think down below. I'd be so curious, you know, has any of this happened to you guys? Have you guys ever bought something fake, um, thought it was real, etc. So again, I would really, really want to know what you guys have to say down below. And honestly, again, I'm pretty scared now about buying on Fashion File. I've been buying a few bags on there just because they have some promotions and the prices are sometimes relatively decent. But I don't know if I can see them the same way um, after this, you know, whole debacle. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram. I really hope that you guys can enter the giveaway to, you know, get a free Sinbono bag because I think they're absolutely amazing. And I hope to see you on my next video. So with all that being said, thank you much thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.